Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We always like to feature the Sundance projects that are part of their Spotlight series, and I am joined by director Amanda Chanel with her piece, Sammy Blood. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. So I'd like to start with just an overview of the plot of this piece, because it's a part of history and culture that I'm sure a lot of people really aren't even aware exists. Yes, it's, um, I mean, the film is about two sisters. And the older sister, Ella Maria, uh, who's about to take over the reindeer herding in her family. It's a Sami family from the 1930s or in the 1930s. So it's set in Sweden in the 1930s? Yes. OK. And uh, she goes to Sami boarding school with her younger sister. And after being put through some race biology exams and racism of the 1930s, she decides to take off and become someone else. Well, and I think. You know, it's set in 1930s Sweden, but you use the terms like the race examinations and things that the people were subjected to that came from the countryside into these boarding schools. And the two sisters really approached it in very different ways. One immediately tried to assimilate, and the other really embraced her otherness and her true cultural heritage. How did you balance the two when you were directing the film? Mm, I don't know. You know, it's inspired by elders in my family and other elders from this generation. And there are many who decided to leave everything and change their names and never talk about where they're from and fully assimilate, you could say. You and then, I mean, then in my family, there's also a part of my family who's, who are still in reindeer herding, who are very proud and where it's very important to keep on with these traditions and the way of singing and the language. So. You're one of many filmmakers we've spoken to on the show that have drawn inspiration from their own families, older generations, or their grandparents, and telling that story. Was that hugely influential and important to you when you said, OK, I'm going to make a film. I want to do this project to preserve some of your own personal ancestry? Yeah, I mean, I grew up with this story, you could say, in a way. <laughs> so It's your story. Yeah, well, not like I didn't grow up in the boarding schools. In the but your families. Times. Yes. Right. And so when you talk about preserving that aspect of cultural heritage, why mm -hmm. do you think it isn't as well known or well publicized what this group of people were really subjected to at that time? It's a good question. I really don't know. I mean, in Sweden, we don't know our history either. Our old colonial history. We, we read about First Nations or Aborigines uh, and about Sami people, like our own indigenous people in the Nordic countries. We read one sentence in school. Hmm. Well, we have a clip of Sami blood so people can see how beautiful this project is. Let's show it. So we see the two sisters, one of course assimilating and trying to fit in, the other clearly not. As a filmmaker, why do you feel that it was so important to preserve this piece of? of history and make sure that it was captured on film? Um, well, it's unknown, but it's very well known within the community. It's, uh, everyone knows someone who left. And um, I don't know, I didn't just do it to preserve history. It's not an educational film. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course I wanted the, this, these stories that I know and the world that I know to, to, to exist in fiction because suddenly it exists to the world. And it really doesn't. Uh, I mean, the, this language that these sisters speak it's, and that I learned in school as a mother tongue, it's only spoken by 500 people. It's one of the most 500 people? Yes, it's one of the most threatened languages by the UN, like according to the UN. According to the UN. Yeah, so I wanted, of course, to preserve that. But I mean, making the film was more about making a film about if you can become another person and what happens to you as a person if you cut all ties with with your past, with your background, with your culture, and uh, you know about growing up and trying to fit in and how to be to be loved and you know. And those are universal messages that translate far beyond beyond Sweden and beyond the time period you were filming. Those are applicable to today as well. Yeah, yes. It seems. I mean, we've been traveling around with the film, showing it in different countries, and there's a lot of people coming up after watching the film, saying, "Oh, this is." This is about me, <laughs> and they're not Sami. Yeah, so. I love that. Well, that's really the goal, to, the goal of good artistry, is to bring people together. Well, congratulations on, on the film. Congratulations on being part of Sundance. I can't wait to see it in its entirety. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. All right, Amanda, this is Sami Blood. We're going to take a quick break here on the show and be back to wrap the live second hour right here on Park City Television.